Lessons are emerging this year that are creating some tricky situations for students and for parents. I spoke with education consultant Jen Curtis, who breaks it all down. Jen, the first trend that you're seeing is that schools are waiting to let kids know whether or not they have a spot. Application numbers really seem to be increasing significantly. The Common App makes it easy to submit multiple applications, and that coupled with fear about outcomes and increased competition means that students are submitting more applications than they were years ago. So it's taking time for the colleges to sift through all of those applications. And then the second trend is that those colleges then have increased the number of deferrals. Right. So a deferral is when a college wants to take a second look at an early action or early decision applicant. So instead of giving them a decision, usually around December, they notify the student that they've deferred their application to the regular pool of applicants during regular decisions so that they can give them a second look amongst um, those peers. So it's not a yes and it's not a no, it's more of a pause. But what that can do is it can tend to really increase a student's uncertainty and anxiety around their process um, as a whole. And then the third trend is that wait lists are way up. What is your caution for families when it comes to wait lists? So a waitlist does mean that a student is admissible and is a fit for a college, but for one reason or another, the college is not able to offer them an invitation to attend. But what happens is that students and their families tend to really hold out hope that the student will ultimately be admitted. But it's really important to understand that generally speaking, coming off of a wait list, um, your chances are quite low if, uh, chance, if you have any chances at all. My takeaway as a parent of a high schooler is to really manage expectations. Admission decisions really aren't personal, even though they might feel that way. So parents can be really instrumental in helping kids to understand that fact by intentionally talking about it with them beforehand, which can really help to soften that blow and help the student to feel supported and understood if, um, if disappointment does come. So May 1st traditionally is National Decision Day, which is when students typically notify a school whether or not they're going to be accepting a spot. This is so interesting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, does the pandemic play into all of this in any way? You know, usually it's safe to blame the pandemic for pretty much <laughs> anything totally. these days. Yeah, and, right. and there is some truth to it because you have a lot more kids who maybe deferred college. And so you have a lot of kids who are now applying now that things are opened up and it feels a little bit more normal again. But the other thing is there's something called the Common App. So the Common App basically is a universal application that lots of schools take. So when the three of us were going to school, mm -hmm. you had to apply individually to yes. all these schools. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you can kind of check some boxes, so it's a lot more convenient. So you do have some kids who are applying to many more schools than they okay. might have traditionally done, because it's easier. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Helps something with the process. Something right. to look forward to many, many years from now, I guess, <laughs> with, with little ones. Yes. All right, Deirdre, thanks so much.